Okay, <laughs> here we go. No, nobody heard anything we said, <laughs> except maybe the people on the radio. <clears throat> Good morning, this is KHEA Radio. It's just after 9 o'clock. I have Dr. Aaron Chapa here in studio, and we're going to be sharing some good information. Dr. Chapa, how are you doing this morning? <laughs> I'm great, Guardy. It's nice to see you, be a part of the world that you are in technologically. And uh, I mean, just, you know, there's so many cool things going on out in the world today. And so I think that we have a great show in store for all you guys. We are a alternative medicine practice. We give people alternatives to drugs and sur surgery. At Living Well Clinical Nutrition Center, we really pride ourselves on teaching our patients how to navigate the terrain, the terrain of life, the challenges of the allergens that we're in uh, and still, you know, coming out of right now with the spring um, the winds, the heavy dust pollens. I mean, we've seen all kinds of things blooming, and I've been checking my little pollen app because I've just seen so many cases, uh, tr you know, trying to take a little bit of a derail or a setback, and it's only because the, the, the allergens are a burden that your body is carrying, and we give people alternatives to dealing with those types of burdens because you can't predict always how your body is going to respond, especially this year when we look at allergies, for example, and we're at an all-time high, 10-year um, high on the amount of pollens and blooming, budding uh, activity in the ground, and people are struggling. People's liver need more support than normal, especially you know people that are in our current care programs that we're already asking the liver to do work, and we're already you know cleaning up the bowels, but now we're dirtying up the bowels with the uh, the onslaught of new burdens coming in environmentally. So this is the the time of year where we want people to uh, be aware that we've got tools that's better than just an over-the-counter allergy medication or a shot that you might be having to do yearly or seasonally. And we want people to have these tools and alternatives because we believe that all life starts and stops at the cellular level. And if we put these tools in, it supports the nutritional fundamentals, the building blocks of life so that the body can perform like it's supposed to day in and day out. And so a lot of you guys have been asking for information around uh, sun uh, exposures, how to deal with the upcoming season of the summer. We're coming into, obviously, full bore into spring. And people are starting to see that beautiful, wonderful weather outside. And what does it make them want to do, Guardy? Go outside in the sun. Absolutely. I mean, who doesn't? Mm -hmm. I mean, I've already gotten, you know, uh, several days worth of some good sunshine, and it makes me fired up and excited inside. And I want you guys to be fired up and excited inside about the opportunity to go out and enjoy the sunshine because the sun is not the enemy. Too many people today uh, see the sun as causing what? Skin cancer or cancer. Yeah. Yeah. And when anytime you put cancer associated with anything, now all of a sudden we, we have a me versus it, uh, a foe, an enemy, uh, a secret you know, th uh, thing that we have to avoid. Uh, and the reality is the sun is not your enemy. And the, and, and the sun can provide quite a few health benefits. And so when people are going out into the sun, I'm seeing tons of people uh, come in and uh, I teach them that there are things that they can do biochemically through their diet and through supplementation to maximize their ability to prevent sunburns and or to heal from sun exposures if they already are burned. And, um, and so one of the, the, the simplest things that we do when people are exposed to the sun um, – in preparation, now I do this with everybody, whether they realize it or not, because at our office we see patients coming in and they are having all kinds of central fatty acid deficiency symptoms. What does it look like? Well, they might have brain fog. Maybe they've got dry skin. Uh, maybe they've got some cardiovascular health challenges. Maybe they've got some memory, names, numbers, and word challenges. This could simply be an essential fatty acid issue. They could have leaky gut signs and symptoms such as uh, irritable bowel when they eat certain foods. 
They could have uh, you know, disruption, bloating gas after they eat. They could get bloated below their belly button. They could have intestinal pain you know, two hours after they uh, consume food. This could be a sign that the essential fats are not protecting um, them from whatever it is they're eating or obviously whatever they're eating is affecting them. But, I mean, to, to say that everybody's going to eat perfect all the time, you need some sort of insurance policy because people just aren't going to restrict, restrict, restrict to the point where they're not having fun in life. I mean, who doesn't love good watermelon in the sun? Who doesn't love, you know, ice cream? I hate to, I, mean, I can't even believe I just <laughs> said that. Um, uh, but I mean, who doesn't uh, want a snow cone or get to do the, some of those fun things and, and, and then pay a big old penalty uh, in health? Now, I mean, uh, to be quite honest, I think if sugar was introduced into our society today, um, it would be a controlled substance. I've even recently heard uh, in a in a book um, called um, what is it, caffeine, caffeine blues. Uh, that you know, if caffeine was introduced into our society today, it'd be a controlled substance, which you know doesn't surprise us. I mean, we know that you know people overindulge. Uh, in any type of stimulants, but people don't realize that sometimes that the the stimulant is so subtle, like sugar, that we and it's in everything. Uh, it is it, it it infiltrates our bodies and it causes this internal fire inflammation, and that internal fire puts in a nutritional demand on your body where you need more essential fatty acids, for example. So every patient that I work with, we are addressing essential fatty acid issues. What is an essential fatty acid? Um, it's a fat. Uh, it's omega-3s, omega-6s, omega-9s. We should be in a particular ratio uh, where we have you know, a 6 to 1 uh, you know, type uh, pattern, omega-6 um, and you know, um, to omega-3s. And one of the things that we do in our office, we look at this thing called an omega-quant test and we look at the essential fatty acid biochemistry we look at how much fire is currently in that person's blood how much fire is in their cells and we look at how many firefighters do we have on staff going and fighting these internal inflammatory fires that are going on day in and day out due to environment due to food choice due to drink choice due to stress load I mean, there's so many things that contribute to the inflammatory fire in our bodies. I just went to the gym this morning. As much as going to the gym is a benefit, um, it also is inflammatory. I mean, you tear down muscles. I mean, I feel warmth in my legs still. I feel warmth in my butt. And I'm thinking, hmm, wow, I must have really worked those glutes hard today. You know, I must have really worked those hamstrings like never before today. I'm I'm feeling it. And, And it feels good. But there's in, that's inflammation, right? And so if I don't have a strong essential fatty acid base, I'm in trouble. Well, that then would lead to my inability to carry minerals to the end of the cell where my cells can deal with sun exposure. So essential fatty acids are like taxi services. They carry minerals to the cells so that the cells can then uptake those nutrients and begin to deal with life or deal do their daily job or detoxify themselves so that they're more productive and active and without the essential fatty acid base and this omega quant test being able to really give us a quick picture uh, and it's only a finger prick and we mail it off and we get this great little uh, uh, picture back of fat ratios firefighter ratios and what you can do to add certain types of food-based fats whether it's more of this fish or that fish or we might just make sure that we're dosing you correctly when we put you on omega you know omega oils um and and sometimes well not sometimes all the time our kids are dealing with essential fatty acid issues and so in the sun exposure protection game we want to make sure that our internal system is working like it's supposed to. But as you can tell, it's not just a supplement for sun exposure. It's a supplement that supports every tissue, cell, organ, gland in the body. I've been you know, quoted to say things like, if I had one supplement to affect essentially every tissue, cell, organ, gland in the body, it would be the omegas, the omega-3s, 6s, and 9s. Why? Because these guys will 
support that cell membrane, which is a, a fatty layer. And so if we can get that fatty layer healthy and strong, that membrane then protects everything inside and it prevents toxins from building up inside. It also allows the detoxification of whatever's in there that doesn't belong in there that can get pumped out, but it also allows those receptors to allow nutrients in. And then the cells then to communicate neighbor to neighbor, community to community, system by system, all the way back to the brain, and the brain say, oh, good, I got a good check of assessment, or you know what, we've got a little uh, spill on aisle elbow right side, you know, mm -hmm. and the body goes down and deals with whatever. Um, and so we want to look at the omegas as an important piece of your care plan. Well, let's say that you don't have an omega quant test. You haven't made it into the office. You should. 281-554-8600. We can get you hooked up. Um, but we want you to know that you can come and use our omega products. They're a reesterified triglyceride. Very, very um, they're healthy oils. They're not rancid. They're not um, been adulterated. They haven't been heat treated. They are a high, high quality um, reesterified triglyceride that allows the body to just take it in as if you're eating you know, a fish. It's the closest thing in a pill that we can wring the fish out, get the all the good oils out of it, and then put it in our body. And this will support every tissue, cell, organ, gland, neurological tissue in the body. That's very exciting. It supports the GI tract. So it's, it's improving protecting, detoxifying, delivering all kinds of value to the body. And so we have to have the essential fatty acid base in place so that we can make sure that when we are exposed to heavy doses of sun, we are in a better spot to be protected and those cells don't get out of balance. You see, today we, we, we look at the aisles or the end caps right now because spring and summer's coming, and it's got all these different lotions and potions that people are naturally gravitating towards and buying. Well, the problem with that is some of these lotions and potions have quite a few chemicals in there that create a disruptor, and they cause the skin. You see, the skin has these little melanocytes, and they can take in all the different types of sun rays. And there's uh, you know several different types of sun rays. And then if you take in a, a skin cream and or a sun screen and you only block one or two of the rays, you create an imbalance in the melanocytes. And the melanocytes in the skin cells begin to get out of balance. And when there's imbalance in the body, we see instability. Instability then leads to inflammation, and then a continuous exposure uh, or uh, continuous inflammation is that internal fire that leads somebody down the burn route or potentially even worse, the skin cancer route. And that's what begins to happen. So we are oftentimes going to show you that if you take in these skin creams that are just generic, that you're buying off the shelf, these mineral oils, they're, they sound good. They sound protective but they really do more harm than good. And so we want to make sure that we give you the, the, the tools to, to kind of look at what is on that label. And so when we see common ingredients, um, there are the biggest ones, parabens. Parabens are very well known to be carcinogenic. They're in a lot of different uh, skin care products, not just sunscreens. So you should look at anything that you put on your skin as a moisturizer, as a cleanser, as a sunscreen, sunblock. And if it has these parabens in there, you should reconsider. You should look at getting those things out of the body ASAP because these parabens are just nasty chemicals that typically are... Um, just cheap fillers. You know, they're, they're not really serving the body as much as a, allowing that cream to stay a cream. And so that's what happens with a lot of these things. And I will tell you too, if you, sh if you look at an ingredient label of stuff you put on your body and you can't determine if you could eat it or not, you should consider, reconsider putting it on your skin because in a sense, you are eating it. It's just being absorbed through the skin, 
and you don't necessarily look at it like you're eating it, but it's definitely getting inside the body. It, this can not just create imbalances in the melanocytes, but this can also lead to disruptions in your hormones. So all the skincare world is really driving a lot of imbalances in hormone activity because it blocks the receptors for certain hormones like estrogens and and or progesterone to balance out your, your sex drive or your endocrine axis, your hormonal stability chain. And these things also congest the liver. And when we bog down the liver, the, me the metabolic system begins to slow down. So we Again, it's not an easy conversation that, oh, well, you know, these skin creams are just going to protect me from the sun. Well, they might protect you from the sun today, but what are the cost to the uh, expo uh, to these ex these uh, creams and lotions and potions? And so some other uh, products that you might see on a label is oxybenzone. Uh, is a widely used non-mineral uh, non -mineral based uh, product in many sunscreens. And we've seen this is very allergenic. Well, when we're looking at the world today, uh, we're seeing more and more people sensitive to chemicals, not just this oxy uh, oxybenzone, but to many different types of chemicals that people are putting in their body through food and, and, and or other screen, uh, creams, lotions, and potions that are on the label. And so this is absorbed in high quantity in your skin. Your skin kind of sucks it up, uh, and it has uh, been detected in breast milk. It's They've seen it in amniotic fluid. Fluid. They've seen it in the urine and in the blood. So, I mean, this stuff gets deep and it goes everywhere. And so we, we don't want to create, you know, put things on our body, again, that can create these types of stressors. But, you know, it could it be that we don't need to put anything on our skin? I, I don't put anything on my skin. Um, I do not go out in the sun and and spend you know an entire eight hour day at the beach unprotected either though. I'm not going fishing with my neighbor and and not putting a hat on, glasses on, and you know one of those cool um, SPF long sleeve shirts. Well, yeah, 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 something you know to cover, right? Mm -hmm. um, I'm gonna take my son in small incremental doses right out the gate. Like you wouldn't overindulge in you shouldn't overindulge in any type of food and expect your body to perform well you eat this big old thing of you know uh, bread pudding and you wonder why you're sleepy afterwards well what if you only had one bite would you have gotten sleepy yes maybe maybe that's how messed up your blood sugar is but in general in general a bite of something sugary should not derail you for a, a day a week two weeks well you the the sun is the same kind of thing. If you go out and you take a a whole dose, a whole day's worth of sun exposure, you're setting yourself up for problem. And especially if you're coming out of the winter, uh, where we've all been bundled up, covered up, and been hiding from the elements of the world around us, and now we're ready to get back out in the sun, but we like get out there too fast, if you will, without the appropriate cover attire. So like if mm -hmm. you are naturally a fair-skinned person, you for sure want to take the sun in small incremental doses, but you do not want to neglect what you can do to fix the internal need. You've got to have the omega uh, products inside. Uh, you've got to have that vitamin F factor. We have another product called Cataplex F that has that, uh, that complex F vitamin that helps the delivery of these essential nutrients to the tissues. And then we look at calcium products. If you take the omega gels, if you take the calcium magnesium powder, the calcium lactate every day get going into the summer, especially two hours, three hours, four hours before you go out into the sun, a nice hefty dose. Uh, and that could be of these omega gels, by the way, you should taste some of these little ones for the kids. These is omega uh, uh, omega force junior. Again, great for the brain, mm -hmm. not just for sunscreen block um, uh, or sunscreen protection, but also for every tissue, every cell, every organ in the body. It's very powerful, very wonderful. Chew them, right? 
Oh yeah, yeah. You should. They're like little. Look at them. They're like little. Uh, you know, it's gummy caviar. balls. I don't know what caviar looks yeah, like. Yeah, it looks but like caviar. Like that, that could be like the stuff on a sushi roll or something. Yeah. Um, and and but they are the delicious. My kids will just literally. <laughs> that's funny. Uh, it's like <laughs> wink, wink, wink. Um, the the. You know, taking these things in sets us up for what we're going to do next, which is to get adequate calcium, magnesium. So, again, we're still looking at the nutritional factor, not just what we're going to put on our skin. Really and truly, I think that you should be strong enough to handle these small doses, building up, building up, building up to big, bigger and bigger doses of the sun, where you're having almost your body acclimate and adapt, because it's very adaptive and it's very quick to do it, uh, this nice, wonderful sun tan, where your body now, the tan that your body has created in balance of all your melanocyte receptors is now protecting you from the elements of the world and the sun exposure that you're heavily looking forward to and wanting to partake in. That whether that's yard work, whether that's swimming pools, whether that's the beach, whether that's the cruise, wherever you're going to go and get into the summer fun. So now we're going to look at the calcium magnesium uh, powder. I'm, I'm going to give you, let you try both. Okay. The calcium lactate powder, I'm going to go first because it has definitely a bitter um, flavor to it, but it is a calcium magnesium. Typically, you're not going to find a straight calcium product uh, because calcium and magnesium are like brother and sister. They're the most abundant two minerals in the body. They have so many functions. I mean, everything... <laughs> Again, not just sunblocks, guys. I mean, this is uh, why, when I was telling uh, my uh, team that, you know, it's hard to break down some topics because, man, I want to talk about my son, for example. He is going through some growth pains right now where he's starting to get the Charlie horses in the legs. I said, how many did you have, uh, you know, Charlie horses did you have yesterday? He said, I had three. And I'm like, how many doses of coral did you take yesterday? And, and the calcium magnesium powder, this stuff here. And he says... Um, five. And I'm like, whoa, if he took five doses, now I don't know if, he, I mean, I hope he did. That would make me very happy. Uh, but if he did take that many doses and he still had two or three, you know, cramped Charlie horses type agitations in his legs, what does that mean? He's not getting enough or he's not taking enough. Getting enough could mean he's not taking his omegas in addition for that delivery piece or He's not, he legitimately is using up those five doses faster than his body can, um, um, faster than his body can, can store up excess. Uh, and so we need to put more dose in. And that's okay because, again, if you're growing, if you're exposed to allergens, if you're exposed to the, a heavy load, heavy doses of sun, if you're playing sports, if you're training in the gym, if you're eating food you shouldn't be eating. You described everybody just, just there. I somebody know. checks one of those I boxes. I know. Somebody, yeah. right? Your mineral needs just went up, right? So your mineral needs may go up, and if you have a combination of any of those things, all of a sudden now your mineral needs exponentially go up. So there's this thing called the summer cold. Well, how do you get a cold in the summer? Well, the, the sun's evil. I told you on the front end of this conversation. It causes cancer and it causes summer colds now. I mean, you've proved it to us. No, no. What I've proven to you is that your body's needs are higher than your supplies. And so we come in with the mineral support, calcium, magnesium, uh, in the calcium lactate. So just take a little. There's a little... Um, scooper, scooper in there. See if you can reach your little fingers like down that. Don't, there. And I would just get like a, I don't know, a teaspoon or so. Uh, it's definitely not that full scoop. That full scoop would uh, rock you a little bit. Okay. Um, but I would definitely take a, a nice little dose of that. So like other signs and symptoms that your calcium levels are not just agitations, uh, cramps, aches, anxiety in the legs, feet, arms, and hands. You you could do. Uh, I would still do half of that. Okay. And, and the only reason I would do half of that is because I don't know what you're going to do later. And you, it really and truly, if you take too much, you could, it could, it could kind of make you sleepy. And I don't want you to be sleepy. That's my secret. I'm always sleepy. Uh -huh. you're like, like the Hulk. The Hulk is always <laughs> angry. You're always sleepy. Yeah. But you did take the omegas, so that's good. So you should get good delivery. That looks good. And then and it's it, like take it just like take it pre workout just take it straight like a pre workout. Yeah. And then you can uh, and it's going to taste like um, what to you. Hmm. 
chalk. Yeah, it's going to taste like yeah. <laughs> and how you have a, a memento. Here you go. And so that chalky like feeling, but if you notice too, it's kind of got a little bit of a bitter chalk. Yeah, you didn't tell me that. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, I did say it was kind of not as good as the next one we're going to try. But definitely this stuff will help with anybody have ulcers in their mouth, ulcers in their tummy out there, uh, canker sores, fever blisters. And or that summer cold, it's an indication that your calcium might need. You look so happy right now, Gardner. It's definitely bitter. That's what I'm. <laughs> yeah, definitely <laughs> bitter. Definitely bitter. Mm-hmm. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> just like a a, a a puff and a cloud of smoke. I can't even talk. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If you're just joining us, talking to Dr. Chapa, Living Well Clinical Nutrition Center. They are located in beautiful Leak City. We had some questions people asking as well. Yeah, so, bring yes. it on, dude. Let's hit it. Let's talk about some questions. What do they were asking where you were? And that's why they answered. said, we're currently 815 East Main Street, Suite A in Leak City, but y'all are moving, which I'm excited about this 322, summer. 322 uh, East Main Street. Same road, four minutes up the road, closer to the Highway 3, uh, westward from where we're currently at. And it's going to be awesome. And it's crazy, right? Um, so, But again, you just took a nice, healthy, he- heaping dose of calcium magnesium with your essential fats the essential fats deliver the the minerals to the tissues that now those minerals are going to be uploaded into the body now if you went and got some sun exposure today guess what your body's going to be more in a better spot to handle the sun because what winds up happening is we haven't even talked about some of the great benefits of the sun you can change your melatonin levels and improve sleep quality at night be, by getting adequate sunshine in through your eyes and in through those melanocytes through the day. What? How's that possible? You know, they. Uh, whenever I went to this um, aquaponics, not hydroponics, aquaponics class, um, and, and it was a whole week of um, study, biochemistry, ecology of the ground, the soil, you know, how to just really grow um, in raised beds and, and those things tower herb you know gardens um using high uh, aquaponics and you know a self-contained system with fish water mineral uh, repletion um one of the cool things that i obse- that they talked about is the early morning sun is some of the most powerful sun you know well, you would think that the 12 o'clock sun straight above our head is the most powerful and maybe it's the most hot but the most rich uh, benefits of sun exposures, that early morning sunshine. And so if you can get out and catch some of that earlier morning sunshine, just like the ground, the soil, the plants, appreciate that more than that, you know, that heat type hardcore sun from the uh, the 12 o'clock hour, you get more health benefits in those earlier hours. And, and so if you go outside and you Go ahead and take your sunglasses off, and you allow the sun just to kind of you know, hit aspects of your eyes and, your, and as much of your skin as possible, even some of the more tender areas of our bodies that don't, don't get a lot of you know, sun exposure. I'm, I may or may not be advocating being in your backyard uh, limit, <laughs> limited. Just lay in, uh, lay it, it, out there. It, that's right. Just lay it out there. Um, there is tons of benefit. Tons of benefit to getting that early morning sun exposure and definitely can change your hormone pattern, can change your sleep patterns, can change so many aspects of your health. It can balance out your vitamin D. We haven't even got there yet. We're coming, but we're looking at you know just this omega aspect. We're looking at the, uh, the calcium, magnesium. We should, you should try a little capful. Uh, I'll pour it for you so you kind of know how much because uh, I've already <laughs> given you some, but this yeah. is... This one I, I like personally. I get less complaints with kids, so I use it more frequently. As a matter of fact, my children have um, a small two-ounce bottle on their nightstands uh, in their room because how you know no fun is it that you're already tucked in bed and after a long day you're you're not your mind is kind of racing and you can't fall asleep. You can go ahead and take it. Yeah, which one is this one again? This one's calcium magnesium powder. Okay. And um, and and it does not taste like anything except a little bit of powder in your mouth. Yeah. It's way, 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 way different. I've had this one before mixed in, in liquid. And, and you can mix it in liquid. Some mm-hmm. people complain that it doesn't seem to dissolve well. So I just take these things straight. So I'll, like, put it in my hand, and I will. I just make a mess. I just get it all over my clothes. That's what I was like. Look at my pants. 
throw it out there, right? <laughs> yeah. But now I know I didn't mess up any glasses. I don't know. Might have got some pixie dust on my clothes, <laughs> but then with too. a little bit of water, and now the rest of the show I'm going to have a white <laughs> tongue and white lips. Yes. You know? White lipstick. Mm, That's what it looks like. <laughs> yes. Just rub it in. Yeah. And, and and again, you can rub this in. And <laughs> But if you had an ulcer in your mouth, canker sore, you could rub calcium magnesium powder directly on top, the calcium lactate powder. The reason we choose these particular two uh, products is they are a – they have to go through one to two chemical reactions in the body – for usability, where many calcium products on the market, such as calcium carbonate, has to go through 11 to 13 chemical reactions before your body can really use it. Okay, so one of the things that we look at is efficiency of digestion. Most people today that come to see us and that are, probably should come see us, they have a digestive problem. And that digestive problem is, is they don't break down and leverage the absorption of these nutrients uh, by cleaving them into something their body can use effectively. And so the calcium magnesium powder, the calcium lactate, they're the simplest products that your body can just go, you know what, I'm just going to turn the dial one or two degrees and I can turn it into something I can use. That is a very cool, cool thing. Uh, to, to note why we use certain types of minerals. So the the thing on the backside, that lactate, is the indicating. People go, well, isn't that from milk? I thought you were anti-dairy. It's not from milk. It is actually from plants. And uh, it, it, But that chemical reaction piece, the way it's cleaved, where it's cleaved in those carbon compounds, it determines if it's a carbonate, a... Um, uh, an aspartate, a citrate, or a lactate. And so we're just looking at the biochemical place where it has been cut or different bonds are uh, attached that create what type of reactive mineral it is. And then that determines how much work the body has to do in order to use it and leverage it. Okay, so now we've got our omega coming in, supporting every tissue, cell, organ, gland in our body. This helps so many functions in our body, hormonally, neurologically, um, in just the way you feel cardiovascularly, in your recovery, in your nutrient delivery. Man, I could go on and on. It's really wonderful. Then we've got the calcium powder we just took in. This is now supplying recovery for the muscles. This is starting to also change the way the skin is going to start functioning. We are waking the tissues up with just fat and minerals this morning. And now when we go out in the sun, let's say, you know, I got, you know, a few hours of sun this weekend. And I know that if I would have stayed out there all day completely uncovered, I would have been uh, burned. But I only got a small dose in order to kind of tell my tissues, hey, the sun's coming. You best be getting ready. I don't want you to get burned and you know because people always know that there's that one big burn they get and mm -hmm. then they seem to tan and adapt well it's because the body goes freak out on you and goes whoo i better figure that out quick i don't want that to happen i've heard a lot of people say that i've never had that because i'm hispanic and so i get like i'm already tan and then i just kind of get tan but i've heard that so much just growing up like oh, i just got to get that one burn in and That's then right. after that but if they but the way you get away from that one burn is you get small incremental doses an hour, 30 minutes, 20 minutes. It doesn't take much. It really doesn't of maximal sun exposure in that uh, uh, on the body tissues without being covered, without hiding under an umbrella, you know, but getting some high, you know, quality concentrated sunshine, uh, especially that early morning sunshine will do you wonders in prep. Now, if you are already darker in skin tone, well, you've got a benefit, but it doesn't absolve you from this same conversation. I mean, you're no just because you have a a darker complexion doesn't mean you couldn't benefit from having omegas, couldn't benefit from having the calcium to protect you from mass sun exposure because you can get skin cancer just like anybody else. And Lord knows I'm not speaking that over any of us, uh, but this is what happens. It's those imbalances over time that create the glitches. And so we talked about how the sun in one of its major benefits could be just the melatonin 
uptake so that you can fall asleep better at nighttime. And you're thinking, well, I don't sleep good anyway. Now he's just giving me two ideas. So get sunshine can help me sleep in balance and melatonin, the calcium uh, and magnesium balance in helping calm my body down, calm my mind down so that my body can go into a rest state. But now the sun also helps the conversion of cholesterol to vitamin D. Well, who doesn't walk around the vitamin D? You look like you have a question, though. Well, there's a there's a comment, and I, there may need to be some clarification. This is from Carla. She said, when you wake up in the morning, will, will your lips turn back to their normal color, not white? <laughs> yeah. And, and the, <laughs> the answer is, it's just a powder. And so as he's drinking, it's just like yeah, literally, yeah. it's so, been washed away. So and, yeah. and, and Carla, that is great. And, and look, people don't really know how to use these tools. Mm -hmm. And so, like, I just kind of, I'm in here just kind of tinkering around, but that's what I do at home. Mm -hmm. You know, like, there is no magic. Like, I, I really caution people to not make it so complicated to know, oh, I need only, you know, um, I only need 950 milligrams of this one, and I need to have only, mm, let's see, 200, uh, 400 milligrams of this, you know, because the reality is, is these are just, what we think we know. But like my son, he took calcium, uh, magnesium powder yesterday, five times he says, but he still got cramps. Well, he's been complaining about cramps for the last week. So I know he's going through a growth spurt. I mean, he's like this close to being taller than me. And uh, I said, dude, if you want to be taller than me, these are the things you do. Take this, take this, take this, take this. Make sure that you don't eat that, you know, and he does still eat some of the things he shouldn't. But at nighttime, having the coral uh, or the calcium magnesium powder or the calcium lactate powder on your bedside, well, you don't want to get out of bed. So in the dark, I can literally open that bottle, stick my finger in there, get a little bit of a pinch or so enough to cake on the, my finger and bring it and throw it back in my mouth. And that's all my body needs because I'm not so deficient. Now, my son sounds like he is deficient if he's taking a good little cap full, no, not even a cap full, but as, as much as I, I would say approximately a teaspoon or so five times throughout the day, his body would be more deficient. But he's not having problems sleeping. He's not having, you know, uh, Charlie horses and cramps in the middle of the night. It's only during the daytime, those deep bone pains. And the minute you feel that, that's your body asking, hey, I need a little extra. Can you hook, hook a brother or sister up? Of course you can, because we have that small two ounce bag or a bottle. You got a little baggie. You could put this stuff in it. And during the summer months, as you're building up your your reserves, you're preparing your body for quick adaptation, so that when you're getting those 20, 30 minute bursts of sunshine exposure during the week, on the weekend, you're more apt to handle the two hour, three hour, four hour exposure to the elements. And then you can cover with a hat, sunglasses, and, and your jacket or your cool, you know, sun resistant materials, right? Again, mm -hmm. I don't really use screen, uh, sunscreens or lotions or potions, but I know some of you do, right? So I thought at least I would provide uh, some ideas. When you are picking up something, if you do not see, Zinc oxide or titanium dioxide as the number one and two ingredients, something very high in the concentration chain of ingredients of whatever lotion and potion you're grabbing, put it back. It's garbage. I mean, absolutely, positively not going to serve you. If you see things in there like parabens or that oxy, uh, um, uh, oxybenzone in there, put it back. You know for certain to make things not too complicated for you that that's not a good product, right, if you're going to use it. So, for example, my wife is into uh, beauty counter products, and so is my office, Jennifer and Molly. Um, you know, we, they, they might use some of these things, and they have a, a, an SPF 25 type sunscreen product. It has non-nano zinc oxide in it, number one ingredient. Well, 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 that's what we want to see. It's got shikari root, supports the skin barriers. Wow, that's cool. Who doesn't love some shikari root? Most people don't even know what that is. But we have a product in our office that is a, sh a shikari root powder that's great for the liver. That's So not just great for the liver. Oh, ho, ho. Just like all the other things we talked about this morning, there's so much overlap in other areas. So could we then make the case that if shikari root is good for the skin, if shikari root is good for the liver, that if you take internally shikari root, that supporting your liver can support your skin? Absolutely cool. 
I like this game. And so then we look at, it's got some vitamin E in it, which is antioxidants. Well, you're also getting some vitamin E, uh, you know, from your different essential fatty acids that we might use. And then, um, and so it, then it also has squalene in it, which is derived from olives. Well, monosaccharide, um, these are good, healthy um, uh, mono fats, mon one, one molecule based fats, so that your body um, is getting a different type of exposure from other, uh, you know, uh, types of fat sources. And so we, we look at this stuff and we go, you know, that's cool. And, and so she likes the beauty counter stuff. It's called Counter Sun Daily Sheer Defense for, uh, for the Face. Um, and, you know, last year, uh, we, Lexi got out, uh, my 10 year old, and she got into the sun too quick, too fast. And she definitely had a few little, you know, not blisters, but definitely some pretty hard uh, exposure to the face. And, and so this year, we're going to be a little bit more you know, on the up and up, making sure that everybody's taking these adequate doses because it's easy, guys, even in my house, to neglect some of these easy things. It's simple but not easy concept. Yes. And, and we, you just got to take an idea and run with it, okay? If the only thing you got bandwidth for is to work the omegas and work the calcium lactate, boom, that's what you got. If the only thing you can, you know, remember is take make sure the first ingredient is zinc oxide or titanium dioxide, Boom. That's what you take from the, the message. If you can remember to avoid the parabens, you've got, you know, you, you're creating a better space. So we try to just give you micro doses of information in order to make this easier, which then turns into something you feel like you can control and it's fun. And then you're taking in small incremental doses of sunshine earlier in the day so that you're preparing your body for a nice little run of it on the weekends as opposed to going and binging on the sunshine on the weekends and getting yourself in a pickle. You come back red as a lobster on Monday, we know what you were doing. Mm -hmm. You know, you weren't adapting, you were burning. And we don't want you to burn because that burning creates that inflammation. That inflammation then creates imbalances and instability, and that instability creates diseases in the skin and disruption in those melanocytes, which ultimately is what drives the disease, right? So we want to give you the benefit of helping support those tissues. But going back to before we asked, you know, it talked about the, the this idea of kind of how we interplay these products at the time the symptoms uh, come on is that the sunshine also gives us adequate vitamin D. So the sun is your friend. It, it, it does help to create balance in your hormones. They have done so much neurological study on sundowner syndrome where the sun goes down and people get depressed. People get agitated more easily. They get more irritable in the uh, non-sunshine hours um, be because they're lacking vitamin D. I've seen cases of depression be resolved just by getting people's D levels up. People are walking around with D levels below what medicine calls low. That's mm -hmm. a you know a thirty uh, level on the the blood test and and when I, we see things like 20 15 10 uh, on the test we come in hot and heavy with high potency D and we have a whole protocol on this 50,000 IUs of vitamin D and this helps to get the numbers up very quickly this is in every one of our deep rooted cellular infection protocols this would be in our adjunctive um, cancer you know prevention protocols and things that we want to do to try to prevent these things from occurring in our body so we don't have to go and deal with it acutely right and so what if you just got out there and you took the time to get your d levels up by getting adequate sun exposure well you wouldn't need 50,000 ius we have another product and i just didn't grab it called dk force vitamin d with k and it helps the absorption of the d and we give you small incremental doses, you know, between five and 15,000 IUs daily. Because again, most people are, just because you have a 30 or a 40 on your test, blood test that we run, we want it like at 65 or 75. And there's even some docs that I've read that even are okay with it higher than that. And, and what does that mean for you when you have higher levels of vitamin D? Again, sunshine converts it. 
uh, it, it, adequate vitamin D levels from the skin cholesterol levels and those melanocytes communicating effectively, your D levels begin to go up, your immune system is enhanced, your brain feels more happy and joyful and at peace with the world around it. And this is one of those areas where I think we need to take the time to not hide behind clothes, not to hide behind closed doors. I didn't say all clothes. I guess I should clarify. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I want to make sure that we're being courteous of others. Um, we don't want to scare anybody. And But we want to make sure that we're getting out into that sun and letting our body bathe in the sun, right? And so there's so much benefit to getting out in there for the brain activity, for the, our emotional state, our cholesterol state, our vitamin D state, our immune state. I mean, the sun is your friend. The sun is so powerful and amazing. It's, it's, it is this electrical energy in the sky that pierces the ground, converted into biochemistry, chemical energy, that our bodies then take in and reconvert it back into an electrical energy we can handle. I mean, I think the idea of the sun, yes, too much, too fast, um, and, and, and concentrated doses can be you know problematic, but we're not talking about that. Just like food intake, just like anything, it's all about what? moderation. It's all about that daily exposure so that you get the most bang for your buck uh, whenever you're out in the elements. And these little protocols that we just threw out on the table are just some of those healthy benefits uh, to maximize your, your, your skin care regime, your skin care protocol. So you're saying everybody should be in omegas? Everybody should be taking some level of calcium, magnesium? Yeah, I am. Vitamin D? Absolutely. You know, too many people are behind a desk or inside of an institutional wall, and they're not getting out in the sun in the key hours, and their levels are low. Their levels are depleted. Their body is burdened with other things that are robbing them of the nutrients they need in order to be the best version of themselves. And so the sun is one nutrient. One of the seminars that I used to teach was uh, the top 10 elements that we have to have to live and thrive and elements, whether it's, you know, nutrients or whatever. But sunlight was uh, number one or two, as I think, air, you know, air would be number one uh, because without it, you know, we're in trouble. But sun was number two. We underestimate what the sun has to offer in the form of health. Now, yes, of course, if you are a, a, a fair, fair skin human and your body never handles the sun well, well, number one, the nutrient uh, uh, repletion addition to your care plan is key. But number two, um, that small incremental dose for you specifically, that fair skin person, you got to get out there frequently in small doses to build up that adaptation. Now, if you know beyond a shadow of doubt, you've tried it all, you've already done all this stuff, I don't know that you have effectively, uh, but here's the deal. Then, yeah, you would cover. Um, you would use some of these other tools. But, th but still, you don't want to cover all the time. You still need small incremental doses because the sun offers so much life and so much benefit. That's why I use that Himalayan Australian sun-dried raw salt. Why? I believe there's just more life and more joy and more things that make me smile from the sun's res you know, result than I find in the awestruck wonder of being in a dark cave you know, in the Himalayas looking for salts. Not to say that there isn't power in it. Definitely don't want to go there. But from if I was going a direction, I'm going towards the sun. I'm going towards the light. Hmm, sounds biblical. And um, as opposed to going into the depths, into the dark, where I go, ooh, that looks like a really enclosed space. Don't want to be there, right? Mm -hmm. I want to be in the light where that sun is providing life and energy and vitality into substances. And then I want to take in those substances, convert that into electrical energy that the sun was given to me to take in. And man, I want to get that, reap that benefit. And so that's why I use that Himalayan, or uh, I'm sorry, that Australian uh, Hawaiian sun-dried 
raw salt that we have in our office. I love that stuff. I love sprinkling it on all my food and seeing how I can help my cells take in more nutrients, balancing out my adrenal glands, helping my body stay hydrated, keep those cells electrically active so that my brain is always buzzing and feeling life and bubbly and healthy day in and day out. And so, um, you know, when it comes to the sun, we definitely, again, want to be being cautious of what we put on our body. Um, I didn't bring it. It is actually in my cup holder in my car. I meant to bring it inside. Um, but I have a product that we use for injuries in the office, but it happens to be an excellent sunscreen. I'm sorry, a sun repair cream um, called Enzyme Phoresis Ice. And, and, and what it is is it's an essential oil-based cream with plant enzymes in it, like rubbing aloe all over your body, but it's already packaged up in a, in a bottle. And you got sunburn, you can rub it on the instant you jump, get back in the car, put it on your cheeks, put it on the back of your neck. It dries quickly. It makes your body feel cool. It's got peppermint oil in it. It's got blood-building support in it, skin-rejuvenating essential oils in it. And those plant enzymes de-inflame that tissue. So... When we take that topical support post-sun treatment, especially if we did break the rule and we didn't do the adaptive buildup process, then we come in and we support that repair process on the backside. And we use stuff like the plant enzymes from the Enzyme Phoresis Ice. It is a very nice ice cream. <laughs> it is not ice cream that you would eat, but it is definitely um, a cream that you could put or gel that you could put on your cheeks, on your forehead, on your neck, on your shoulders, on your back, on your chest, on your arms, wherever you get the most sun beat down that afternoon, that day. And again, um, I think that you could finish the day even if you just did 20, 30 minutes. You could rub some of that on some of those areas that you know are your areas. My shoulders, my cheeks, um, the back of my neck, um, you know, my upper back or whatever. So if you know you've got some areas that typically are your burn sites, man, go ahead and start de-inflaming that tissue, preparing that tissue. It's like taking a piece of meat and tenderizing it before you cook it. You want it to be nice and tender. Why? Because it tastes better. Well, your skin, if it is, if you till the land and prep prepare it, you're keeping blood flow in that area, and that blood flow is carrying all those nutrients, all that healthy oxygen, and the tissues are more adaptive and able to prevent the burn, the inflammation, the instability, and the disease. That's what we're after. That's prevention. That's a good thing. And then lastly, we I wanted to, so we've talked again about omegas, calcium lactate, calcium magnesium powder. Uh, we talked a little bit about vitamin D. Again, there's so much to talk about, so many things to do. What does Willy Wonka say? So much to do, so little time. And um, and and I you know wish I could go through all these things, but we're going to at least cover one more. The cataplex C, circulating C levels. We've got to get the circulating C levels up because, um, get it, the C levels, like, yeah. <laughs> No, whatever. Get the C levels uh, yeah, right. Yeah, get the C levels right. Mm -hmm. um, but people are taking high dose C in order to, as a multivitamin, and that's not what we want them to do. We want them to take a raw, uh, or not a raw, but a food based, plant based uh, C, uh, vitamin C that has what we call the vitamin C complex. You see, in the Bible, the Bible talks about after we got kicked out of the garden, that, we, that the grounds were cursed and we were going to have to work and till the land in order to get any value out of it. Interesting, I think. And the vitamin C is one of those nutrients that's found in citrus and fruits and pre-kicking out of the garden. You know, the Bible references quite frequently um, that we are to eat the fruit of the tree, the fruit of the vine. And it and it only references like the seed bearing stuff at, at creation, but not necessarily eating. It seems like I see the eating of fruit, like in heaven, we're fruititarians because it's so life giving, so rich. And who doesn't love sinking their teeth into a delicious mango? Who doesn't like sinking their teeth into a delicious watermelon or to an orange or to the apple or or you know, whatever your favorite is, right? But what happens is if vitamin C post the garden, it's one of the, the very nutrients that we cannot manufacture, meaning our bodies must get it from the external world. 
and we have to find it in the external world, and we need it through plants and citrus. And so in this product, for example, it comes through quite a few different, uh, you know, areas, buckwheat, for example, um, the areola parts of the juice powder, buckwheat flour, alfalfa, um, al and again, different parts of the alfalfa plant. Uh, this comes from uh, nutritional yeast, not the kind of yeast that we've talked about in the past that is very disruptive and, and debilitating, but B vitamin rich, uh, healthy levels of nutritional yeast that benefit our bodies. Bovine adrenal gland. Ooh, cool. Uh, who loves eating adrenals? Yeah, right. Nobody. <laughs> and so wouldn't you rather take the extract in a supplement um, that is rich in vitamin C? People don't realize it, but your adrenal glands number one nutrient. Adrenal glands handle and deal with stress. So too much sun exposure could be a stress on your body, could it not? So healthy adrenal glands are also an important piece of fighting back against the burn, fighting back against the inflammation, fighting back against the instability. So when we see that burn happen, we know that our C levels are also affected as well. Our adrenal glands are weak and not handling the, the, the stress of the elements, the sun exposure. And so we want a product that can deliver all these nutrients. So this stuff has the complex of C, vitamins P, K, and J. Tyrosinase, the enzyme that activates all this wonderful vitamins. It has the ascorbic acid everybody's familiar with. It has flavonoids, bioflavonoids, cofactors, and it even has the little things in there that we can see in a microscope, but we don't really know yet what they do or what they are because we don't have the science yet that is caught up to it. I think that's fascinating. There's still things in science we do not know, which is why you can't just assume because it was scientifically proven that they got it all, that they figured it all out. And you should definitely take you a, you know, five or six of these guys. These guys will help your circulating C. You don't saturate C like you do the calcium magnesium. It circulates around the body, activates your immune system, stimulates your adrenal glands, helps your body manage, deal with all types of stresses, and it helps to create a healthy internal working system that fights back against infection. And so I love the, the combination of concepts that we're bringing to the table today to help maximize your bodies exchange with the sun and creating a healthy pre-sun game and a weekly sun game and a current exposure game in small incremental doses so we can handle the big dose on the weekends, right? Mm -hmm. And so, uh, which then would quickly bring us to our last one, the Cataplex B core. The Cataplex B core, this is going to be rich in, now B vitamins can be ma manufactured in our gut unless we have a very weak G D GI tract. So if you burn easily, not because necessarily you're fair skin, but you tend to have skin issues already, dry skin, cracked skin, all kinds of other challenges, odds are you probably have a weak digestive lining. It's the same tissue, it's just inside. And so if you have a weak tissue inside that you're, you're, you've got potentially a leaky gut uh, or inflamed, irritated bowel, irritable bowel syndrome, worse, your inflammatory itises in the gut, whew, those are painful. Um, we don't want you to suffer with those crazy things. We want to help your body manage those cell-to-cell -cell communication lines so that the body functions like God created it to. But we could all benefit from some extra B vitamins. One of the key ingredients in here is B4. B4 is BIOS. BIOS is a life-giving B vitamin that really helps drive electrical activity towards the heart. And so I'm talking about blood flow in respect to sun blocks or sun protection. How are you going to protect your feet? Blood flow. How are you going to protect your scalp? Blood flow. How are you going to protect your back? Blood flow. And so we want to talk a little quickly about the mitochondrial blood uh, building blocks and the blood flow benefits of having B circulating around. And so Cataplex B um, is core 
is a very rich, a water-soluble B vitamin, and it's got your stimulating side of your B vitamin. So this is a B vitamin that will give you energy. This is a B vitamin that will help those mitochondria produce oxygen, that will pr produce antioxidants so that your body, when exposed to inflammatory agents through your diet or through too much sun or the elements of the non-infectious world like the pollens, the cataplex B gives those mitochondria a boost and a jolt in protecting the internal workings of the blood against uh, oxidation. And so the, the cataplex B is downrooted deep. It's going to support your endocrine system. We've talked about that today. The adrenal glands particularly, um, other parts of the endocrine axis as well. It's going to help the gut lining. It's going to help the cells uh, communicate faster, more efficiently. It's going to give you this brain build support. So now we've created a recipe that I believe would help support your sunblock Per, uh, internal working system. You take two or three omega uh, soft gels. You take uh, the vitamin uh, DK force, unless you already know your levels, and then we would teach you how to use the D force 50,000. We don't just randomly throw protocols around with that product because people don't need that much. Um, I mean, they need daily maintenance doses because of their lifestyle um, environments. They're not getting exposed enough to the elements of the sun and its value and benefit and wonder. But we know that we can help you build that. So if you know that your D levels are low and you don't know how much to take or you don't, you've been told, hey, just take one a week of this stuff, maybe, unless you're like a 17, you might need more. You know, we, but we can teach you how to look at that and evaluate it. The calcium magnesium powder to be riding on the back of the essential fatty acid chain, the omega gels, and making sure that we're getting that delivery of those nutrients to the tissues so that the tissues can create the, up, the, the, the absorption and bring those into the fold of maximizing your daily protective vehicle and making sure that your, your body is ready for the sun, the vitamin C, the vitamin B coming in to activate antioxidation, to activate the adrenals and handling stress from the environment plus your stress load from emotional stresses you're dealing with plus um, all the other benefits of having a high circulating sea level to help protect you against infections. And so when we come at a human with all kinds of health issues and then we're coming into the summer, these are additional support, but also if you've caught anything today, you could hear very much that these could be fundamental. You could literally build an entire healthy protocol with these products, the omegas, the calcium, the cat B, and the C, and the D, and you've got yourself a very full, robust protocol to help support your body's daily needs. This excites me. This is why I love nutrition, because all you have to do is learn some of the fundamental basics of what to put in throughout the day, and the body will do the rest. All life, guys, starts and stops at the cellular level, and nutrition is the fundamental backbone that drives it onward, upward, good, or godward. So I pray that your day is filled full of amazing, that your week is extraordinary, and that you do reap the many, many benefits of the sun. So this is Living Well Clinical Nutrition Center. We have been, we come on KG Radio every week. We are on many different uh, podcast platforms, YouTube, Spotify. You can just uh, look us up on any of the mainstream um, platforms, and you can check out many of our recent shows. We do all kinds of shows because we know that people have questions about all kinds of issues. We've talked about stress. We've talked about allergies. We've talked about infections. we talked about common colds. We've talked today about sun. So if you have friends, family, loved ones that need this type of information, if they're interested in alternative medicine, if you're trying to just kind of, you know, get them interested, hey, check this out, share us, like us, make a comment, help us help you by telling us what you want to hear more about, and we'll do our best to bring it to you. I hope that you guys have a blessed and wonderful week, and we'll check you later. This is KGA Radio 99.5 FM. Woohoo!